My name is Kenneth Kera Gishera. I have, I'm a mechatronic engineering student that has recently graduated from Jacob University. Uh, today uh, we are exhibiting our project uh, called the Weed Boat. Uh, we decided to showcase our project to see uh, so that people can get inspired and see what we have done. Uh, our project uh, involves uh, making an autonomous uh, weeding robot. Uh, the weeding robot is specifically designed to address the problems that uh, the farmers encounter when it comes to weeds. Uh, weeds have been shown that they reduce yields of crops up to 60%. And the go-to methods of uh, killing the weeds are usually herbicides and manual removal of weeds. So uh, for the small-scale farmers that cannot afford the, the weeds, uh, the, sorry, the herbicides, they usually left with uh, the le one option, that is to manually remove the weeds. So uh, our weeding boat uh, is designed to remove the, the weeds, to address these problems of herbicides and uh, manual removal of weeds so that the farmer does not have to force me to buy the herbicides or even force to remove the weeds from the ground. As uh, for example, some of the weeds, some of the herbicides used have been even uh, shown to cause cancer. An example is Roundup. Uh, prolonged use of Roundup leads to up to 41% increase of getting cancer. And uh, uh, we decided to, to make an eco-friendly uh, robot that is able to address these issues hand-on. So uh, our mission is to eliminate, uh, provide an alternative solution that is able to detect the weeds uh, automatically using artificial intelligence trained by Microsoft Azure services, cognitive services and machine learning and also to pluck them uh, from the ground effectively. As we have seen that uh, plucking them from the ground is able to effectively kill the weeds. As uh, keep cutting them or uh, using herbicides is not uh, a suitable solution, as when you cut them, the weeds are going to grow back again. And uh, for a solution, as I said, is uh, the autonomous weeding robot. Uh, this is a 3D model of how it's going to appear, the final version. Uh, this is uh, the concept that we designed it uh, using uh, software such as Microsoft Inventor and even did analysis using Autodesk Fusion. So uh, our project, we aim it uh, for the, by the time we're going to the fifth uh, version, it's fifth iteration, it's going to be commercially viable. Uh, as now, uh, we're going to make it even more compact than the way it is already. I'm Michael Moisakeni. I'm part of the team called the Knights, working on the weeding robot. Now our solution uh, compromise, compromises of uh, a weeding boat that uses AI to navigate through the farm and also detect weeds and eradicate them from the farm. So how it does this, how it does this is through uh, object detection and classification. Now that is powered through Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform, uh, which enables us to train our AI models very fast and very efficiently. So now we train the robot, uh, the AI, in the robot uh, with photos. 200 photos of, of the crop and 200 of, of the photos of the weed, which is affecting uh, your farm. And after that, we train it, in Azure Cloud Platform, that takes less than five minutes, and the AI is good to go. You upload it on the robot and place it on the first row of your farm. Now this robot goes in between the rows of crops, uh, the space which a human being would have walked through the farm. And it is a maximum, it, it is, by width it is 40 centimeters which is uh, allowable for most, is the minimum distance between rows for most crops. Therefore, the robot is able to go through between the crop, the crop rows most, of most crops. And then it pulls a weeding attachment, which eradicates uh, the weeds which are in between the rows. Now there is a camera, a stereo vision camera that is used to detect the weeds which are uh, together with the crops along the row, such that it pinpoints the location of the weeds and the arm extends to pull out that weed. And if it sees a crop, it uses that crop to self-assess its position within the row, so that it, it can never be on the wrong row 
or even start uh, doing over crops. So that's how the AI makes sure that it is always within the row and it is always uprooting the right thing. And the AI is 98% accurate. The advantage of this machine, it can work at any height. We made it so that it can work in a maize farm that grows up to three meters tall and for a bean that uh, only grows to some few centimeters. How does it work on a maize farm which is three meters tall? Because the camera is placed on the side and it goes in between the rows, so it is not affected by the height of the, of the maize. And so it is always able to go through the farm and uh, locate the weeds and remove them, no matter the height of the crops. So it doesn't matter how much the height of the crops? It does not matter. And that is particularly helpful to Kenya because maize is our, is our flagship, uh, is our main uh, food crop and very important in every home in Kenya. And uh, you can, it's very difficult to, uh, to make a robot that is three meters high. So this, this, is a very good, uh, this is a very good implementation of our solution. The, the level of the robot, the height, the height of the robot is less than 15 centimeters. Yes. And the width is 40 centimeters so that it can go between the crop rows. Uh, somebody only needs to farm, making a provision of uh, distance between the rows of just more than 40 centimeters. We are undergoing uh, various tech, uh, tech expos and competitions, and one of them has, is Microsoft Imagine Cup, and we have been fortunate to be able to represent Kenya and Africa at the regional finals in Amsterdam. And uh, there we are going to showcase the, the robot, and uh, it's, uh, it's working and it's operation, so that uh, more people can be sensitized about uh, this robot and that can also represent Africa. If we win or become number two, we get to go to the world finals in Seattle, where we will represent Kenya and Africa on a global stage and also be awarded uh, 800,000 in cash prizes, Azure credits which have been the ones which have helped us uh, build our AI, our AI model. So, and also a chance to compete in the regionals on the world finals gives us an opportunity to compete for the 10 million cash prize and uh, sit down with Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. And that will be a great opportunity to even learn uh, from a great man like that on how to, be, to go about expanding this from a startup to a mainstream and be able to do mass production because uh, this is a product that will help many people, not only in Kenya and Africa, but even the whole world because uh, herbicides are causing cancer and uh, environmental effects.